This program is made possible courtesy of the Wilfred Lai Partners. For prayers, inquiry and partnership, contact us on 0800-000-898 or send a text to 8378 and our team of... <laughs> Holy are you, Lord, all creation bows before you. Oh, Makata Dadi De Rabasira Dadi We join the elders and the angels to declare your greatness, O oh God. Everlasting to everlasting, your throne, Lord, remains forever. Oh, Ramakanda Ribosira Dadi Holy are you, Lord, blessing church. Holy are you, Lord, who come I under Anadia? And you are worthy. worthy. Yes, Lord. Is your name. We worship. We worship your majesty. Oh, holy Lord. Holy. Are you Lord? Oh, 
Naleta sadaka za sifa kwa kubona Heshima na mamlaka zipoke Mtakatifu mtakatifu na kuita mtakatifu Oh yes wewe mtakatifu sitabudu sitabudu miungu mingine niliona mifano yote sitapiga magoti yangu Hallelujah. 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 Yes, wetu anapenda kelele nyingi sana. 
kwa kifupi tu e bwana katika miungu yote ni nani aliyeka kama wewe mtukufu katika utakatifu mwenye mwenye kuogopwa ulia ulia fuma wakafanya nini wakazama kama risasi risasi nuria tena e bwana e bwana ka inani inani aliyeka wewe tukufu tukufu katika utakatifu wenye nguvu Fuma kwa upepo wako Bari kafu ni Wakafanya nini Wakazama kama risasi Mungu anazamisha madui kama risasi Kwa uwinu Uwinu liwe Yesu Mwema Uwinu liwe Aleluya
sana Lakini Daudi alisahau cheo chake Unajua ukiwa hapa mwenye cheo kikubwa ni Yesu Haleluya Hata kama wewe ni rais wa nchi ukija hapa mwenye cheo kikubwa ni nani Sisi wote tunashuka chini Haleluya Siku moja nilikuwa naumwa nikamwambia Mungu nitakupa zawadi gani Niliumwa tibini hizi sita 6 months Nitakwambia Mungu nitakupa zawadi One dog I was from two, just from two. You got me a mother, but I didn't get me a monarch. When I was a wadi, Yakunipa, Niches, who's in your honor, Chesa, come a crazy up. Because Ababu never tend there, however. What do you tend there? Come a mimi, what copy? Do not say so. Do not say.
Jésus là.
Sija kuchagua Wewe huli nichagua Kabla sija kubena Huli nipena Ukani ketisha Ukani ketisha Pamoja Wario ketisha Pamoja na mwana wako Chedumi Mimi ni mwakili Chedumia
Mtakatifu ni wewe Mtakatifu ni wewe Mtakatifu ni wewe Mtakatifu You are holy You are holy Sadira Mariana The angel and the Pharisees You are holy Magoti yako ya sichoke mbele za Bwana. Wako malaika wanampigia magoti usiku na mchana. Na mimi sitachoka kumpigia magoti. Ah, oh, he's God. Oh, you are holy. Nagatifu Everybody deeper, 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 deeper. Usimwangalie mtu, don't look for anybody, please. Just parts, parts, parts. Parts, parts. Musa akasema ninaogopa Wewe unatikisa mlima Sinai ninaogopa
Nipungue Wewe Uongeze Toto azuri ni silingi Mimi ni punguwe Wewe uongeze Zaka 
Heaven has evaded this place. Heaven has evaded this place. Mm. Mm. The presence of God, the glory of God fills this place. Oh, lift up your hands and just worship him for a moment. Heaven is here. Heaven has evaded this place. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for your presence in this place. These are the times of refreshing. These are the times of your move of your spirit. These are the times of your move of, times of, your move of the end time spirit. My God. Glory to God. Go ahead and put your hands together and appreciate the Lord. Put your hands together and appreciate the Lord. And shout to God with a voice of triumph. Shout to God with a voice of triumph. Shout to God with a voice of triumph. You are stronger than how you feel. You are greater than where you are. You are greater than where you are. Somebody say wow. To a same, wow. We are standing under an open heaven. To na sima machini ya mbingu ni lizo God is in this place. Na kuambi ya mungu kwa mahali hapa. Turn to your neighbor, tell them God is in this place. Ge uke chirani ya kumwambi ya mungu kwa mahali hapa. God is in this place. Mungu yuko mahali hapa. I can feel the tangible anointing. The glory of God fills this place. Utukufu wa mungu meja za mahali hapa. My God, my God. And while we stand like that, I want us to appreciate our covering, our spiritual covering, the greatest gift that God can give you when you are born again is to have a man who speaks into your life he speaks the future into you speaks, is the greatest gift you can have houses and cars but when you have a voice that talks to your future you are blessed so while we stand like that we are going to receive our papa put your hands together as our papa comes to this house he is our voice in this place put your hands together as he comes don't stop until he gets here hallelujah glory 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 glory
So Holy Spirit Take over Take over our lives, our minds, our will, our emotions. Take over our lives, our minds, our will, our emotions. Take over our lives, our minds, our will, our emotions. So that we may hear the voice of God. As your servant comes to speak your word, use him as your vessel. Let our ears be open. To hear you. In Jesus' name I pray. And all those who shout a big amen. I say all God's people shout a big amen. I say all God's people shout a big amen. Jesus said men shall not live by bread alone. But men shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. I welcome every one of you to our morning service today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is here and he loves to bless us. I say he loves to bless us. And he is going to bless you is going to meet you at the point of your need if you came sick he is going to meet you and heal you whatever it is every burden that you you carry cast it to Jesus he is here for you I say Jesus is here for you. And in that awesome uh, mode of worship, we are truly grateful to God for bringing his servant here last night usiku wa jana was a very very awesome night ulikuwa ni usiku wa ajabu sana i i pray that everyone in the body of christ would hear what we heard last night. Ninaomba ya kwamba kila mtu katika mwili wa Kristo atakisikia kile tulichosikia usiku wa jana. And God has prepared his servant once again. Na Mungu amejitayarishia mtumishi wake tena. He is here this morning. Ako hapa asubuhi ya leo. To come and share with us the word of God. Aje shiriki na sisi neno la Mungu. Let us put our hands together. Tuweke mikono yetu pamoja. Tumpokee. Tume. Richard, Richard Mayanja Let us receive him Wacha tumpoke Praise the Lord this morning. How many of you know that Jesus is in this place? 
Can you receive Jesus right now with a clap off? Just help me slip your hand up a little bit. Isaidia kunyosha mikono yako kidogo tu. I want the keyboard to be off. Just lift up your hand a little bit. We want to acknowledge the Holy Spirit of God. Precious Holy Spirit of God. We acknowledge your presence. You who is in charge of this dispensation. We ask you sir. Come and help us this morning. Move every destiny to its destination. Every problem we entered with here, we surrender it to you right now. Now touch this piece of clay and use it for the glory of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now may you be seated on the head of your enemies. What a wonderful, rare privilege. Tunu ya namna gani ilio ya kipeke. A rare privilege. Hii ni kutunukiwa kwa kipeke. Can we clap for the choir as it gets down? Makofi kwa choir wanapoketi. They have sung with heavy anointing. Wameimba kwa upako mzito mno. You would enter here and literally feel the presence of God. Ngeliingia hapa hivi unawinsi upako na uwepo wa Mungu. The brother from Tanzania you've just shaken me to my boots. Ndugu yangu kutoka Tanzania umenitikiza kabisa mpaka kwa matumbo. May Africa receive you in Jesus name. Africa na ikupoke katika jina la Yesu. Let this continent hear you. Bara la Afrika likusikie. And let this continent honor you. Na bara hili likuheshimu. You serve God with a pure heart. Wewe unamtumikia Mungu na moyo msafi. May the Lord remember your house. Bwana ikumbuke nyumba yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said it is a privilege. Nasema ni kutunukiwa kwa kipekee. I can't believe that it is Dr. Lai who gave me this microphone this morning. Yaani siamini kwamba ni Dr. Lai aliyenipokeza kipasa sauti asubuhi hii. What do you have to you don't know? Kila ambacho hujui wewe. I first came to Mombasa in 19 I think 95 or 6 there. Mwaka wa kwanza kuingia hapa ni mwaka 1995 ama 96. And even the, then I was hearing about this name. Na siku hizo nilikuwa nasikia jina la mtu huyo. I longed for a day I will meet him. Nikatamani siku nitamkuta huyo mtu wa Mungu. Not preach for him. Siku kuja kuhubiri kwake. Meet him. Kukutana tu naye. This God we serve. Huyu Mungu tunayemtumikia is a God who tell your neighbor prayers don't die. Angalia mtu mwambie maombi hayafi. My desire was fulfilled. Natamani langu limetimia. Whenever you have a holy desire. Kila mara unapokuwa natamania takatifu. God fulfills holy desires. Mungu hutimiza tamania lolote takatifu. So I'm really privileged, really. 
Kweli nimetunukiwa kipekee. You see it is not about numbers. Hayuhusiani na idadi ama takwimu. We preach to stadiums. Sisi tunahubiria eh, viwanja vya michezo. But it is about a person. Lakini inahusiana na mtu. Destiny is about a person you meet. Hatima ni kuhusiana na mtu unayokutana naye. I want you to hear me this morning. Nataka hivi unisikie asubuhi hii that your future is connected to a certain man. Usoni wako umeunganishwa na mtu fulani. Until you meet that man. Ni mpaka umekutana na mtu huyo. You have no future. Wewe una siku za usoni. If you met Peter today. Ungekutana na Petro hii leo. He would have told you. Angelikwambia wewe. I was just a fisherman. Mimi nilikuwa tu mvuvi until one day mpaka siku moja a man mtu passed by alipita nje yangu haleluya haleluya a level that you want to attain kiwango unachotaka kufikia is connected to a certain person kimeunganishwa na mtu fulani I want you to hear me because I'm preaching this now is going to it is going to be we are going to feel God here tonight today. Amen. Nataka unisikize maana na nahubiri na tutakwenda kumhisi Mungu hii leo. No man hamna mtu. Let me put it this way. Wacha niweke hivi. There is nothing you need on earth Hamna kitu unachokihitaji duniani which is in heaven ambacho kipo mbinguni Your car is not in heaven Gari unalohitaji haliko mbinguni It is in Japan actually some of them they are here in Mombasa Iko Japan na mengine yako hapa Mombasa bandarini Your wife is not in heaven Mke wako hayuko mbinguni She's in Machakos. Ako Machakos. <laughs> ah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The anointing is not in heaven. Upako haupo mbinguni. The person who anoints people, mtu anayewatia watu mafuta, is the Holy Spirit of God. Anaitwa Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu. And from the day of Pentecost, Natoka siku ya Pentecoste. He came here. Alikuja hapa duniani. And he has never left. Hakuwahi kurudi mbinguni. How do you get anointed then? Basi unapakwa aje. You get anointed when you establish a strong relationship with the Holy Spirit of God. Unapakwa mafuta unapodumisha uhusiano wa dhati na Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu. And everything you need on earth na basi kila kitu unachokihitaji duniani God channels it through a human agency Mungu anakipitishia mrija wa wakala wa kibinadamu A man like Dr. Lai here Mtu wa Mungu kama daktari Lai hapa is a custodian of a certain realm in the spirit Huyu ni mtunzaji wa viwango fulani ama safu fulani katika ulimwengu. I'm not talking secrets here, I'm talking mysteries. Siongee kuhusu siri na ongee kuhusu mafumbo. Once you perceive him as a custodian, ukitambua kwamba wewe mtu anasimamia in the spirit, anasimamia lingo fulani katika kiroho. Your heaven opens up. Mbingu yako itafunguka. I'll give you an example. I'm going that's I'm, I'm just trying to prepare you. Najaribu kukuandaa. Dr. Benny Hinn went to Eastern Europe. Daktari Benny Hinn akaenda uh, Europa ya Mashariki. He went to preach in a nation. Alikwenda kuhubiri katika nchi. And he was shocked that people didn't come as he expected them to come. Alishangaa mbona watu hawakukuja kama alivyotarajia wakuje. And he inquired what happens to this country. Akaulizia ni nini lilotokea kwenye Don't people ili. respect the gospel? Kaulizia mbona kwani watu hawaheshimu injili? And they told him. Wakamwambia hivi. An American preacher came here. Kwamba yupo Mwamerekani mmoja mhubiri alokuja hapa. 
And he did not talk well. He talked against our Orthodox Archbishop. Na kuongea vizuri aliongea vibaya na askofu wetu wa Kiorthodoxi. And in that country, na katika ile nchi, that archbishop is greater than the president of the country. Askofu wa huko ni mkuu kuliko rais wa nchi. So when he talked against that archbishop, alipoongea kamsemee vibaya yule askofu as the custodian of that region it closed doors for evangelists likafunga milango ya waevangelisti pastor benihin was still in the country mchungaji benihin alikuwa katika nchi he said tomorrow drive me to the office of the archbishop nakasema kesho niendeshe gari kwenda mpaka kwenye afisi yake askofu they took him there wakampeleka huko and he said sir nakasema bwana eh i'm sorry for what the other preacher did Okay naomba msamaha kwa kile kilichofanywa ni mhubiri mwingine. But I want uh, my purpose of coming here is to recognize you. Lakini kusudi langu kuja ni kutambua uwepo wako na heshima yako. And to tell you that I have only come to preach Christ to this country. Na niite nikwambie nimekuja kumhubiri Kristo peke yake katika nchi. And the archbishop called the national television. Na askofu huyo mkuu akaitisha television ya kitaifa. He stood there and he said all of you i command you to go to benihin crusade they jammed the stadium the stadium and they had overflows in this life katika haya maisha they are men who are custodians wapo watu walio wasimamizi of certain realms in the spirit wapewa fulani katika roho it takes eyes that see huchukua macho ionayo not eyes that look sio macho iangaliayo to understand kuweza kuelewa hilo so i think god is allowing me to speak these words na ninaamini Mungu ananishurutisha kuyasema maneno haya. So that you don't look at this father of the gospel as just a preacher. Ili usimwangalie baba wa injili kama mhubiri tu. I want to announce to you. Nataka hivi niwatangazie. I'm going to make statements before I introduce my because we are going to run here. Now let me calm myself before I charge. Let me fill my battery. Wajani nipashe moto kaa langu. I want to say this to you. Nataka niseme hivi kwako. Not every preacher is a man of God. Ah ah. Si kila mhubiri ni mtu wa Mungu. No those are things we use lightly. Wajua tuachukulia haya pasi na uzito. No. It's not that is a sinner. Na si kwamba mtu huyo ni mwenye dhambi. But You graduate from a certain realm for you to be considered a man of God. Lazima ufusu kutoka upewa fulani ndio ukaitwa mtu wa Mungu. Look at the Bible. Wewe itizame Biblia. Not every prophet was called a man of God. Si kila nabii aliitwa mtu wa Mungu. Actually in the Bible, hakika katika Biblia, there are very few people ni watu wachache mno who are addressed walio na nenewa as a man of god ya kwamba huyo ni mtu wa mungu very few ni wachache mno very few wachache mno i'm even surprised that isaiah is not called a man of god aya na hata nashangaa kwamba hata isaiah haitwi mtu wa mungu i'm shocked aya nashangaa so just because people call you man of god on social media eti sababu watu wanakuita mtu wa Mungu kwenye mitandao za kijamii listen it is not what people call you skiza sio kile unaitwa na watu it is what heaven calls you ni kile ambacho mbingu inakuita wewe you see when i see social media everyone calls himself a geno ai nikiona kwenye mitandao za kijamii wengine wanajita let us celebrate the birthday of our geno Now the general they are talking about is two years in ministry. Huyu generali anaoitwa huyu miaka miwili kwenye huduma. Since when did you become a general? 
uliingiaje huu generali ulipitia the, the government of even in this country hata katika nchi ya Kenya i'm sure you don't have so many generals hapa mna majenerali wengi kweli there are not many si wengi for us who come from fighting countries sisi tunaotoka katika nchi ya kupigana by the time you are called a general in the ugandan army ili uitwe generali kwenye jeshi la uganda you must have a lot of scars lazima uwe na alama nyingi za kupigwa na mali sasi i thought you needed to know that nilidhani imekupasa kufahamu hilo now let us get to the word basi tuingie katika neno i want to use a subject this morning nataka nitumie somo moja asubuhi ya leo it is a prophetic word neno hili ni neno la kinabii opening a new family record kufungua rekodi mpya ya kifamilia opening a new family record kufungua rekodi mpya ya kifamilia lift up your right hand of power inua mkono wangu and shout these words after me rudia maneno haya nyuma ya mtumishi i'm opening a new family, family record record mpya ya kifamilia oh, oh, oh. mm. hallelujah you don't know what you have just said hujui ni kipi ulichokisema you have just crushed every record in your family woo umefutilia mbali rekodi za kifamilia yako you are leaving this house unatoka kwenye nyumba hii this exalted altar kwa hii madhabao iliyotukuka sana you have opened a new family record umefungua ukurasa mpya wa kifamilia opening hallelujah na family record record mpya ya kifamilia glory hey Mm. What does that mean? Hiyo ina maana gani? It means where they never entered you will enter. Ina maanisha penye hawakuingia unaingia wewe. Rakarama ndere bosakaya handi. What they never ate you will eat. Kila ambacho hawakukula utakila wewe. What they never built you will build. Kila ambacho hawakujenga utajenga wewe. Where they rejected them they will receive you. Penye waliwakataa wao utapokea. Because you are opening. Maana unafungua. A new family record. Record mpya ya kifamilia. Shout I'm opening. Sema ninafungua. A new family record. Record mpya ya kifamilia. Woo! Woo! Look with me turn with me to the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 57 to 61 Luke mtakatifu Now Elizabeth full time came for her to be delivered and she brought forth a son Amen And when her neighbors can somebody shout neighbors majirani and relatives Say relatives and neighbors we will come to that category of people amen because when, when they heard how the lord had shown great mercy to her they rejoiced with her biblia inasema ikawa siku ya kuzaa kwake elizabeth zilipotimia alizaa mtoto mwanaume wakasikia jirani zake na jamaa zake ya kwamba bwana amemuongezea rehema zake wakafurahi pamoja naye i love your swahili is heavy 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 are you a pastor yes sir oh yes you, sir. your your pastor church yes sir, i pastor church where is it is it a jcc church yes, 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 yes. where kisumu may god Oho Makaraba baba sandaraba I do you have land 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 yes Not yet sir You are getting land 
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Your church is going to make news. Amen. News. Amen. News Amen. in your church. Eh? Amen. Stand up. So it was on the eighth day that they came to circumcise the child. Ikawa siku ya nane wakaja kumtairi mtoto. Who are these that are coming to circumcise the child? Ni akina nani hao na kuja kumtairi mtoto. Shout neighbors. Majirani. And relatives. Na watu wa jamaa zake. Okay. Hala bakusa. And they would have called him by the name of his father Zechariah. Wakantako muite kwa jina ya babake Zechariah. Then people are with Elizabeth. Na mamake Elizabeth. I'm saying interpret what I'm saying. Amen. I'm saying these people came with Elizabeth. How to wakaja na Elizabeth? They don't leave her. How achani na mama ya mtoto? They don't want to leave this woman. How ataki kumwacha mama wao? They look like they are good people. Wanafanana na watu wazuri. Are they not neighbors and relatives? Si majirani. Yes. Mm. But when the child is born, wakati mtoto amezaliwa, they said we are the ones to give the name. Wakasema sisi ndio tutapeana jina. And they called the boy Zechariah. Wakaita mtoto jina lake Zechariah. Give me the following word. Nipe maneno yanayofuata. His mother answered and said, "No." Mama akajibu kusema la can somebody shout in this house no sema la his name jina lake shall be called john ataitwa yohana you would have expected that the neighbors and relatives are going to give up here Ungedhani kwamba majinani na watu wa jamaa watakata tamaa kwa hii. After this service neighbors and relatives are leaving your address. Hallelujah. Baada ya baada hii majirani na watu wa jamaa wataiacha anwani yako. The most dangerous people you will Hey my voice sounds like bishop lai. Wow. Nakata baba. Sauti yangu ni kama ya papa lai. Dede bosha. Nagabata kapo sana. Clap for me I got it. Nipige hapo kwa chuo hiki tu. Hallelujah. Hey. Woo. Uganda you are in trouble I'm coming back. Uganda <laughs> ningojea mimi niko njiani. <laughs> Aya. Aya. The most dangerous people you will ever meet. What to have tari mdo ambao utawahi kupata a neighbors ni majiran and relatives na watu wa jamaa hmm. can i tell you something jeni kwambie everyone can believe in you kila mtu anaweza kaamini wewe your relatives look at you as just a relative watu wa jamaa wanakuangalia huyu si mtoto wetu You can help millions of people. Unaweza kuwa na mamilioni ya watu. But you wait when there is a family gathering. Acha ifike siku ya kukutana mkutano wa You even feel empty. You don't feel the anointing to touch anybody there. Huisi hata upako kumguza mtu. They are so so cano. Ni watu wenye kimwili kingi. Do you know? Je unajua why Jude wrote only one chapter in the Bible Jude aliandika ukulasa moja tu katika Biblia chapter moja tu He was a brother of Jesus Alikuwa ndugu ya Yesu History tells us historia inatueleza that Jude got saved after the death of Jesus Ya kwamba Juda aliokoka Yesu akishakufa akafufuka When tax collectors are writing books about Jesus wakati wana watu za ushuru wanaandika habari za Yesu his brother writes a chapter ndugu yake anaandika fungu moja and even tu. when you read this chapter you read the book of the, the, the chapter of Jude soma tu soma you don't Judah. see much stories about his brother 
Huoni akiongea mengi ya ndugu yake. He's talking about Enoch. He's talking about <laughs> Are you hearing? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with relatives. Siji kuna shida gani na watu wa jamaa? How many of you understand something that I'm talking about? Wangapi mnaelewa neno nalolisema hapa? You are a great man of God to everyone. Wewe ni mtu mkuu wa Mungu kwa kila mtu. You wait when you meet relatives. Wewe ngoje ukuje kwenu nyumbani. I met one recently. Nilikutana na mtu wa kwetu majuzi. She's a sister to my mother. Ni dada ya mamangu. We are talking everyone there were others who were celebrating the apostles come then she said do you remember the poem the poem you used to recite for us when you were in nasare school kila mtu ananisherekea mtume mtume ananiambia unakumbuka darasa hili ulikuwa unakariri ukiwa nasare the same neighbors waambia majirani and relatives na watu wa jamaa they come with funny stories wanakuja na masimulizi yake ya jambo hili. They want to relate you with where you they used to see you. Wanataka wahusiana na wewe na kule ulikokuwa. They see you with the eyes of the flesh. Wanakuangalia na macho ya kimwili. They are so stubborn. Hawatu wana moyo mkubwa. They even came to give a name. Walikuja kwa jina kwa Elizabeth. This boy must be called Zechariah. Huyu mtoto aita zekaria what does that mean hiyo ina maana gani they are saying that if zekaria got you at the age of 87 ya kwamba zekaria kama alikupata akiwa na miaka 80 young man you get your first born at the age of 87 kijana wewe nawe utapata mzele wa kwanza ukiwa na miaka your name is zekaria wewe unaitwa zekaria and elizabeth said elizabeth no la sivyo This day we are saying no. Leo tunasema la sivyo. Neighbors and relatives. Wa majirani na watu wa jamaa. His name shall be called John. Jina lake ataitwa Yohana. So people to stubborn. Watu wengine wana shingo ngumu. Who gave you power to name my child? Nani alikupea mamlaka kupeana jina mtoto? You're just a How come you are the one coming with a name? Yewe ni jirani, unatoa wapi jina kwa mtoto wangu? I have the audacity. I have everything in me to name my child. Mimi nina una ujasiri wa kupeana jina. No! Let's see you. Do you think they kept quiet? Je, unafikiria hii iliwatosha wakanyamaza? No. They said. Akasema. But I said to her. Wakamwambia. There is no one among who your relatives. Hakuna yote katika jamaa zako who is called by this name. Aitwae kwa jina hilo. I came from Uganda as a prophet of God. Nalitoka Uganda kama nabii. Tell you that you are receiving a name. Kukwambia kwamba unapokea jina that you have never heard in your clan. Ambalo hukukuwa nalo kwenye mbari yako. God is giving you a name. Mungu anakupa jina. Somebody some opening. Sema ninafungua a new family record. Record mpya ya kifamilia. Hande boss doing things that have you? never been done in my bloodline nikifanya mambo ambayo haijatendwa katika watu wa jamaa zangu haleluya haleluya they said wakasema no one has ever been like this in your bloodline hamna mtu ambaye amekuwa hivi katika mbari ya baba zako god has used word explosion Mungu ametumia mlipuko wa neno to take you off the limitations of your people kukutoa ndani ya mipaka ya watu wako you are opening a new family record unafungua ukurasa mpya wa familia may you receive a name poke jina that we have never heard of in Kenya ambala tujalisikia Kenya receive a name poke jina that we have never heard of in East Africa ambala tujalisikia Africa mashariki somebody say i receive it sema napokea shout i'm opening ninafungua a new family record ukurasa mpya wa familia alaba kosande ya bahaya hallelujah the debate did not stop 
Mijadala yao These people are determined to hijack the destiny of this baby. How what we may azimia kunya kwa hatima ya Yohana. They are still standing there. Bado wamesimama hapo. Look at what they what happened. Angalia kilichofanyika. They made signs to his father. Wakamwashiria babaye. What are they trying to do? Wanajaribu kufanya nini? Zechariah we have a problem here. Zekaraya mzee tuna shida hapa. I think because your wife gave birth to her first child at the age of 90. Na ni kwa sababu mke wako amezaa mtoto na umri wa miaka 90. I think her system is messed up. Najua akili zake zimeharibika. She can't even reason properly. Hawazi vizuri. She has even forgotten the names we give to our children. Huyu mama imesahau majina tunapeana watoto. They are making signs. Kwa hivyo wanamwashiria kwa ishara. What would have him called? Aitwe nani mtoto huyu Zekaraya? So go go go. Tendele. And he asked for writing tablet. Akauliza apewe kibao cha kuandika. And he wrote saying. Akaandika jina lake. His name is John. Jina lake Yohana. So they all marveled. Wakastajabu wote God is going to give you a name that will make your relative marvel Mungu atakupa jina litawastajabisha jamaa I will marvel Wakastajabu Listen skiza there are miracles that make people shout kuna miujiza ufanya watu kupasa matendo. There are others that make people marvel. Na kuna miujiza inafanya watu wastaajabu. To marvel is to do like this. Kustaajabu ni kwa nini? Eh? May God hey. give you a miracle. Mungu akupe muujiza. That will make people speechless. Utanyamazisha watu. Lose their vocabulary. Wakose maneno mavo wastaajabu na kupigwa mtwa ninafungua a new family record ukurasa mpya wa familia i had a lord tell me nalisikia bwana akisema this word explosion is different from the rest you have ever attended mlipokuwa huwa neno ni tofauti You are living in this house of glory. Unaondoka nyumba hii ya utukufu with a new family record. Na ukurasa mpya wa familia. You are opening a new family record. Unafungua ukurasa mpya wa familia. Let me take it deeper. Wacha nipeleke ndani. Speak the way you speak nowadays. Tell me go deeper. Niambie okay. zama I zama. hear people speak like that go deeper. Nasikia watu wakisema zama. Now, now tell me go. Sumuniambie. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I go deeper? J nizame. This is now. Nisikize. We are talking of opening a new family record. Let me move from a, a bit from the other family. I'm saying nasema that in the family of God katika familia ya Mungu in this family of God katika familia ya Mungu you are going to open a new family record. Utafungua ukurasa mpya wa familia. Hey! Hey! We are going to hear things in JCC. Tutasikia mambo JCC. We have never heard of in Africa. Ambaye tujawahi kusikia Africa. Because of opening. Kwa sababu ya kufungua family record. Ukurasa mpya wa kifamilia. I can see angels moving here. Naona malaika kote kote mali. Shout I'm opening. Sema ninafungua a new family record. Ukurasa mpya wa kifamilia. In the body of Christ. Katika mwili wa Kristo. In the family of God. Katika familia ya Mungu. What am I talking about? Naongee juu ya nini? I'm talking about JCC. Naongee juu ya JCC. Building the best university in Africa. Wakijenga chuo kikuu. That is called opening a new family record. Inaitwa kufunga ukurasa mpya wa kifamilia. 
I'm talking about a ministry like this one having its own runway but that preachers just land shout we are opening a new family record after this meeting your relatives will have to carry out a DNA test to, to, to confirm are you hearing how my voice sounds like Dr. Nasio to confirm whether you came from them hallelujah hallelujah ha. do you know God can change a man and even his relatives cannot recognize him the Bible says Jacob sent his 11 10 sons to Egypt to buy food when they landed in Egypt they were introduced to a man his name was Joseph me looking at them one by one the Bible says he knew all of them but they did not know him because by the time they were arriving we had already opened a new family record what has never happened among your people it is happening with you what has never happened in any church hear me holy ghost let it happen in JCC shout I'm opening Joseph looked at them and he said this is Reuben this is Judah mm -hmm. Naftali hey, you are still the same yesterday today <laughs> they were looking the same the Bible says he knew them they didn't know him may God give you a sign a wonder a miracle that will make your relatives look at you and they ask you what is your name sir and the ones who are asking are your brothers and sisters opening a new family record may you enter where they never enter I command the earth to open up for you North America will receive you America South America is opening up America Australia what are you waiting for Australia Asia open up. Asia funguka. The islands are opening up. God is moving you from who are you? To how are you, sir? You are opening a new family record. Oh, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory! There is no one who has that name in our family. They are arguing. They want you in this country of Kenya. People just want to keep churches on a certain level. But this is a season for East Africa. 
This is Mashariki. the season for East Africa. We are going Africa. to see explosion. I am a record I feel it now. I feel it now. I feel it now. I, feel it now. I had even forgotten that this is called word explosion. I heard the spirit of God said to me We are going to experience an explosion What you have been waiting for Is now waiting for you What you been waiting for Is now waiting for you This is the day that the Lord has made You will rejoice and be glad Help me Holy Ghost This is the hour for East Africa And since this is God's center Jesus celebration center May every word we are speaking on this altar Start with this work of the celebration center May JCC become an example JCC on how to serve God on how to do ministry on how to be a blessed servant of God may Jesus open a new family record in the body of Jesus Christ shout I'm opening a new family record Shout it again You can become What has never happened in your, in your family Kilambacho kijafanyika kwenye familia yako Jesus Yes. They said nothing has ever happened like this. Records are there to be broken. Records are said to be broken. Somebody is breaking a record in word explosion. You are about to see. Huko karibu kuona this auditorium packed kumbi zikija and 50000 people watching on the screen outside na watu 150000 wanatizama viwango kwa that is where god is taking huko word explosion bwana anapeleka mlipuko wa that is where god is taking word explosion huko ndiko mungu anapeleka mlipuko wa opening tunafungua a new family record record mpya kifamilia oh glory to god utukufu kwa bwana africa is coming here africa inakuja jesus is coming here Russia is coming here America is running here America inakimbia hapa JCC I saw a river Niliona mto I saw a river in a vision Niliona mto kwenye maoni flowing in this in this church Ukitiririka huko kanisani JCC JCC put your shoes on ah, You are tu. going to another direction Unapanda mkondo mpya Jesus is going to flow. Jesus itatiririka. You will flow to nations. Utatiririka kwa mataifa. You will flow to nations. Mutafurika kwa mataifa. We are about to hear branches of JCC. Tutasikia matawi ya JCC. Having 10,000 members. Washirika 1,000. Opening a new family record. We are coming out of the levels of the Kenyan church We are moving out of smallness We are coming out of religion We are opening A new family record We are opening a new family record 
Oh, somebody celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Oh, my land, the Korabas, the Sadi, the Marakatara, Mama, Mosa, the Bari. Oh, glory to God. Oh, to Kufu Kamu. I saw a river. Nilionam to JCC we are going to flow JCC mtafurika may you flow to presidents furika mbaka may you rais. flow to kings mfurike kwa may you flow to territories tiririka mwingie maeneo i saw a river with tributaries nilionam to wenye matao may you flow to every corner of the earth furika kila eneo la nchi help me holy ghost nisaidie roho mtakatifu Listen to me. The Bible says in Genesis 49. Jacob blessed his children. And he did he predetermined the destiny of every one of them. When he came to Benjamin, alipofika kwa Benjamin, he called him a hunter. Akamuita mwindaji. He says Benjamin is a ravenous wolf. Akasema ya kwamba Benjamin ni yule mnyama ambaye ni mkali. Both in the morning, kila toka asubuhi, and in the evening you be dividing. Look at that. Benjamin is a ravenous wolf. In the morning you shall divide the prey. Asubuhi utararua mawindo. And at night shall divide the spoils. Na usiku utagawanya nyara. Is a hunter by destiny. Kihatima we ni mtu mwindaji. But we are talking about opening a new family record. Lakini tunaongea kuhusu kufungua ukurasa mpya wa kifamilia. You can rise above the limitations of your people. Unaweza inuka kupita mipaka ya watu wako. May you become the first billionaire in your bloodline fanyika billionaire kwanza kwenye watu wa ukoo wako may you become the first great thing to ever come up out of your people ufanyike kitu kikubwa kilichowahi fanyikia watu wako i say so and it shall be nasema hivyo in the name of jesus iwe hivyo kwa jina la yesu i'm the first billionaire in my bloodline mimi ni billionaire wa kwanza when you was a great thing to ever happen in my among my people kikubwa kilichowahi fanyika kwa watu wangu amen ninafungua new family record ukurasa mpya wa kifamilia benjamin you a hunter benjamin we ni mwindaji but benjamin refused lakini benjamin alikataa clockwise na kwenda mbele years later Miaka mingine baada We read his words. Tunasikia maneno yake. That there was a man from the tribe of Benjamin. Kulikuwa na mtu kutoka kwa Benjamin. Kish. Alikuwa anaitwa Kishi. And he had a son. Alikuwa na mwana. His name was Saul. Jina lake Sauli. I want you to hear this. Nataka usikie hii. When Jacob began to prophesy to Judah wakati Yakobo alimtabiria Yuda he said a scepter alisema fimbo ya utawala will not depart from Judah haitaondoka Yuda not even from between his knees haitatoka magotini mwake all the kings of Israel wafalme wote wa Israeli destiny hatima yao they are supposed to come from the tribe of Judah watakao watoke kwa nyumba ya Yuda but there is a man lakini yupo mtu who said i'm going to open ambali sema nitafungua a new family record ukurasa mpya wa kifamilia because the first king of israel maana mfalme wa kwanza wa israel was from the tribe of judah kutoka kabila ya yuda he was from the tribe of benjamin alitoka kabila ya benjamin the hunter mwindaji bypass the kings alipita kaingia and he said i'm coming number one akasema nitakuwa wa kwanza more than a hunter mimi ni zaidi ya mwindaji obarakanele i command every blessing that is not in your bloodline natangaza baraka zizo kwa mimi you be the first person to possess it kwanza kumiliki ah adabo sande ya bakaya somebody shout hunters 
Mwindaji are becoming kings. Wanafanyika wafani. Katalabo sakaya. That is called opening a new family record. Inaito kufungua record mpe ya kifamili. So does not come from a tribe of kings. Sauli atoki kabila ya wafani. He comes from the tribe of hunters. Anatoka kabila la wawindaji. But while the kings were seated there. Wakati wafani wa meketi tu. The hunter. Mwindaji. Got the first privilege. Akapata fulsa ya kwanza. To become the first king of the next kingdom of Israel. Kufanyika mfalme wa kwanza wa ufalme wa Israel. Not for one year. Simu akamoto. Not for two years. Simu akamiwili. 40 years. Miaka 40. The hunter was on the throne. Mwindaji amekalia kiti cha enzi. I see hunters in this house. Naona waindaji katika nyumba hii. Alabandere kereba osandere. I see hunters in this house. Naona waindaji. I see hunters sitting on thrones. Naona waindaji wameketi kwenye enzi. I see hunters sitting on thrones. Naona waindaji wameketi kwenye viti vya enzi. Somebody say I'm a hunter but I'm possessing a kingdom. Sema mimi ni mwindaji lakini namiliki ufalme. Hunters are sitting on thrones. Wawindaji wameketi kwenye viti vya enzi. Shout I'm opening. Mimi ninafungua a new family record. Fam record mpya ya kifamilia. May you be what they have never been. Fanyika kile ambacho hawachafanyi. May you become what they have never become. Fanyika kile ambacho hujafanyi. May you win souls they have never won. Wewe una nafsi ambazo hawakuvuna. Open it. Kufungua. President Museveni says, Rais Museveni alisema, he cannot remember four generations ago. Haezi kumbuka vizazi vinavyopita. Even a chief, at a chief, in their family, katika familia yao. Yet, ilihal, from a family that has no chief, kutoka kwa familia bata aina chief, came a president who has sat on the throne for forty years. Ame tokea rais, ame kiti kwenye nzi miaka. Somebody shout, hunters are sitting on thrones. Wao indaji wana keti kwenye viti vya enzi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The world is about to know. Ulimwengu karibu utajua. That God is moving in East Africa. Ya kwamba Mungu anatembea Afrika The world is about to know. Ulimwengu karibu ni utatambua. Can I prophesy? Je, nitabiri. May Jesus become a tourist attraction. Jesus ifanyike kivutio cha utalii haleluya haleluya we will have flights landing at the, at the, at the airport tutakuwa na ndege zinatua uwanja ndege full of people where are you going zimeja watu mwenda wapi jcc twaenda jcc 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 papa the best days of this ministry papa Siku bora za hutumai. They are not behind you. Haziko nyuma yako. They are just coming now. Zinaingia sasa. They are just coming now. Zinaingia sasa. I feel fire in my bones. Naisi moto kwenye mifupa yangu. Ah. Ah. You have never heard what you are about to hear. Hujawahi sikia kila utakwenda kusikia. Bicycles, border borders, cars, planes, all roads. All roads are going to lead to J C C. Bara bara zote zitaeleke J C C. We serve a God. Tunam tumikia mungu. Who rewards faithfulness? Ane rusuku uaminif. A man of God cannot labor in this land. Tumisho mungu kufanya kazi. And doesn't see such a move of God happening here. Nasione muondo kumzito mungu kitoke. May the four winds of God. Wacha pepe nesa mungu. Begin to blow. Zianze mungu. May the four winds of God. Wacha pepe nesa mungu. Begin to blow. Zianze kuwa. Blow people are here. Zikilete. Blow resources up to here. Zilete la silima. May the four winds of God blow. Pepe nesa ulimwengu. Oh let them blow. Hey. 
Let him blow. Watch as he boomed. Let him blow. Watch as he boomed. Let it rain. Kunyesha. Let it rain. Kunyesha. Let it rain now. Kunyesha sasa. Somebody speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Command the We are opening. A new family record. Ruth, Ruth comes from a caste tribe. Anatoka kabila lola niwa. No scripture blesses Moab anywhere in the Bible. Hamna andiko lolo bariki Moabu kwenye mandiko. You are even not permitted to marry a daughter from Moab. Hunaluusa kumuobi nti waki Moab. But she said, I'm opening a new family record. A girl who, that, who comes from a caste tribe, she now owns a book in the Bible. Uh -huh. That is called opening a new family record. Okay, a girl who comes from a caste tribe. She is now called a great grandmother of our Lord Jesus Christ. You came to word explosion not by accident. I hear a voice telling me now that the people who attended this conference were handpicked by God. God picked one, every one of you. Mungu alichagua kila moja wenu. There are others in Mombasa who are not picked. Kuna wengine Mombasa hawakuchukuliwa. God picked you. Mungu alikutoa wewe to be under this roof. Uwe chini ya paa hili. You are going to shift. Utakwenda kuhama. You are shifting. Unahamishwa. Kenya is about to see people they have never seen before. Kenya itaona watu ambao haijawahi kuwaona bado. Oh! La 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 la. Ana na na mosakaya. When David killed Goliath, Daud alipomwangusha Goliath, even so marveled. Hata Sauli alistaajabu. He lost words. Akapotelewa ni maneno. Only as whose son is he? Akauliza huyu ni mwana wa nani? Whose son is he? Huyu ni mwana wa nani? That is the question they are going to ask. Hilo ndilo swali wataulizwa. People who are coming from here. Watu mnaotoka hapa. Whose daughter is she? Huyu binti ni wa nani? J C C J Whose son is he? Huyu ni mwana wa nani? C C J C Mombasa Mumbasa is going to see a manifestation of the body of Christ they have never seen. Utaona udirisho mwili wa Kristo. The days of shame are over. Siku zaibu zimeisha. The days of shame are over. Siku zaibu zimeisha. The days of shame have ended. Siku zaibu zimekoma. We have opened. Tumefungua. A new Family record. Record in Pia family. Hallelujah. What am I saying? Nasema nini? I'm saying. Nasema. That you are going to see people. Utakwenda kuona watu. Tithing a billion Kenya shillings. Wakito fungula kumi pilioni moja. Can somebody receive what I'm talking about? Wewe poke necho sema. You are going to see people. Utaona watu. Bishop, in South Korea there is a church. Kula Korea kusini kuna kanisa. It is not the one of Dr. Cho. Sio yoyo ya yongi Cho. It is about 200,000 members. Ni wa shirika lakimbili. This church. Kanisa ili. Aha. They have a piano. Wakona piano makinanda. They only made two pianos in the earth. 
Wanatengeneza piano mbili duniani. One is in America, the other one is with them. Moja iko America, nyingine iko huko Korea. It costed 10 million dollars. Gharama yake ni shilingi milioni 10. A piano in church. Hiyo ni kinanda cha kanisa. I see JCC there. I see JCC. JCC. I see JCC. Kinanda yenu inafikia. I see JCC there. JCC. I see JCC there. JCC. I see JCC there. Jesus is where God is taking this ministry. I see Jesus in there. Naona Jesus huko. That is not enough. I touch when they are giving offerings. Wakitoa sadaka, they don't stand. Hawasimami, they sit. Wanaketi. And then the man of God says it's time for us to give. And then suddenly Mara you will see conveyor belts utaona the magurudumu yako You know conveyor if you go to airport you know conveyor belts where we put our bags Unaona kuna yale magari ya kusukuma magari These conveyor belts that move around like baskets Hizo magari zinatembea Ba 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 Zoo JCC 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 Ah Hey Ah Can you imagine you were just seated there We make it zoom 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 This is going to be called a church of diplomats. Nitaitwa kanisa. This is going to be called a church of diplomats. Ni kanisa la madiplomasia. Yes, this is opening. Jesus you fungu family record. Inafungua ukurasa mpya wa kifamilia. So they move. Kwa hivyo wanasongesha inapita. Then they converge together at a certain point. Zinakutania mali fulani and they enter the accounts department. Na zenyewe zinaenda huko bila mashamazi. Ah, ah. My friend. We, we. Don't go to heaven until you have seen that in JCC. Wewe. <laughs> Goja usienda mbinguni mpaka umeona hiyo hapa JCC. No, don't even try. Usidhubutu. Until you have seen such a thing here. Baka umeona kitu ya namna hiyo hapa. Don't die. Wacha kufa wewe. Don't read don't they read the same bible that we read? J. Si Biblia ni moja tu. They read King James version I rebuke thee. Wanasoma mfalme Yakobo tafsiri na kukemea we. But with conveyor belts lakini wana hizo magurudumu za kutembeza. May God move us from baskets to conveyor belts. Bwana tuondolee vikapu atuletee magari ya kutembea. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I feel like speaking for JCC now. Naishi kuongea juu ya JCC hapa. We are going to see JCC. Tutaona JCC becoming everything God intended for it to be. Ikifanyika kila kitu ambacho Mungu alikusutia iwe. So we are going to have golf carts here. Tutakwenda kukuwa na kila alichokisema hicho. Golf carts, you know golf carts those I don't know it. A golf cart is like a car. Mm. They, they they drive us when we are doing golf. Oh. Yeah. Wale watu mnaopiga hiyo mchezo wa golf kuna kila kigari hicho. Hey, so we are going to have golf carts. Tutakwenda kuwa na hicho kigari cha watu wa golf. Because you will be 1000 acres away from us. Maana mtakuwa mbali na ekari 1000. You will need to be driven with a golf cart to come to service. Ayayayayayaya. Utaendeshwa na ile gari la golf kuja kwa ibada. Hai. Opening. Kufungua a new family record. Record mpya ya kifamilia. May you build a house. Wewe ujenge nyumba. So that when you come back home, ili ukirudi nyumbani. Your wife is in the house. Mke wako yuko nyumbani. But you are busy asking have you seen my wife? 
lakini unaulizana mke wangu umemuona ako wapi haleluya haleluya glory utukufu that is god opening inaitwa kufungua a new family record ukurasa mpya wa kifamilia we are about to see cars that have never been driven in kenya in this parking space amen tutaona magari ambayo haijaendeshwa kenya ikiingia hapa kwenye maeneo ya kuendesha we are about to see things tutaona mambo sisi when bishop says that He prayed and God told him to bring Apostle Mayanja. Okay. This is what I came to do. Uh-huh. This is Uli what I came to do. Papa This disema. is what I came to do. Papa alisema ya kwamba liomba Mungu akamwambia mlete mtume ma, mtume Mayanja. Huyo Mayanja alikuja kufanya unachokiona sasa. The message I'm preaching right now. Ujumbe ninaoupili sasa. I was given to two weeks ago before I planned I started thinking of what to minister here nilipewa jumba mawili your final message bwana aliniambia ujumbe wa mwisho will be opening utakuwa ni kufungua a new ukurasa family record mpya wa kifamilia satan is in trouble shetani yumo tabani oh hallelujah Oh glory. Hana basuka ya. In 1987, the daughter of President Reagan, binti ya Rais Reagan, the president of America that time, Rais wa American siku hizo, came to Uganda. Akaja Uganda after the wars of Uganda. Baada ya vita vya Uganda, she was taken to where it was so hot akapelekwa mali kwa na joto where all the children papa they all lost their parents mali ambapo watoto walipoteza wazazi wao when she was speaking to them alipokuwa kinena nao her eyes was fixed on a girl macho yake ikamlenga msichana mmoja and said baby come akasema msichana njoo he ha- she hugged her akamkumbatia and said from today kamwambia toka leo you are my daughter wewe ni binti yangu. Mo that girl. Huyo msichana from the village. Toka vijijini. My friend God knows where you live. Mungu anajua unaishi you live. Anajua unaishi wapi? God knows your village. Anaboko shata. Anajua your block. Anajua you your town. Anajua God knows unka. where you stay. Anajua unakaa wapi? Hey. I was feeling bad because they left us Kampala boys. Nilikuwa naishi vibaya maana walituacha vijana wa Kampala. They should have picked me. Ah, wangeokota mimi. The blessing jumped me to the village. Baraka ikaniruka mpaka kijijini. The blessing is about to jump some people back to you. Kuna baraka itawaka watu mpaka kwako you. kwako wewe to you somebody say, say to me to me to kwangu. me kwangu to kwangu. me to me kwangu. Kwangu. kwangu kwangu I want you to start becoming a good receiver nataka uwe mpokeaji mwema so I receive sema ninapokea ah they took that girl alimchukua yule msichana from the village kutoka kijijini and she came to kampala akaja kampala they went to state house wakaenda ikulu ya rais state house kutoka ikulu ya rais for private jet kwa ndege ya kibinafsi of the daughter of the president of united states of america ya binti wa rais wa majimbo ya umoja wa america a girl who had never even sat on a border border mstana hata bicycle hakukuwa ameikalia from nothing to private jet kutoka bure kwa ndege ya kibinafsi I prophesy speed in your feet na kutapiria mwendo kasi I prophesy speed in your feet na kutapiria mwendo kasi I prophesy speed 
speed in your feet. I prophesy speed in your feet. Not speed speed in your feet. Speed in your feet. Speed in your ministry. Speed in your ministry. Speed in your family. Speed in your family. Oh, I prophesy speed now. Not I prophesy speed. Not speed. Speed in your business. Speed in the work of your hands. Hallelujah. Glory to Kufu. Then years later, Papa, this is what shocked me. I said, surely someone can open a new family record. Ronald Reagan died. Ronald Reagan Akafa. He was the most beloved president of America. They brought Ronald Reagan in a large room where they view the presidents of the president's bodies. But this is what they announced. CNN. CNN. President Reagan has died. He died peacefully. Surrounded by his daughter. And the grandchildren. And the picture comes. White, 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 black. If you can't fear God, then I don't. Can you just imagine? A girl from the village. When they are talking about the family of Ronald Reagan, she is standing there. Akopale. Ten years later, Maureen Reagan died. Miaka kumi badai, Maureen Reagan akafa. She was also old. Alikuwa ni mze. Maureen Reagan, the daughter of President Reagan, has died. Maureen Reagan, binti ya Rais Ameaga. Breaking news. She surrounded, was surrounded by her children. A picture. Picture. One, two, three. Black. This is God. We serve a God who can move you from nothing to royalty. To royalty. To royalty. Baka kiti cha ufalu. I remember years a guy came to Rift Valley to preach. That time there was a story running. Over an old man. Who has gone back to school. Ambaye amerudi shulen. Because he wants to read the Bible for himself. Tell your neighbor when you honor God, God honors you. The man went to school. KBC. KBC would bring him in the news all the time. In shorts. Playing with children in class. Opening a new family record. While he's in class, Guinness Book of World Records arrived in Rift Valley for an interview. And he registered as the oldest student in primary school school on the face of the earth. While we are still there, the man is still breaking records. Hollywood. Hollywood. Hollywood, where movies are done that, that cost billions of money, they flew into Kenya in a private jet. 
kwa ndege ya kibinafsi kuja Kenya to Rift Valley wakaenda bonde la Ufa to see to the this man kuketi na mtu huyu asking permission wakiomba ruhusa whether they can do a movie out of him ili watengeneze filamu kutoka kwake he accepted definitely akakubali hatimaye and they said sir we want to take you to america wakamwambia twataka tukupeleke amerikani he did not land in boston hakutua boston he went to a private jet Alingia ndege ya kibinafsi straight to Los Angeles. Baka Los Angeles. Hollywood. Hollywood sitting with boys like Denzel Washington. Akiketi na vijana kama hao wa Rift Valley. Mzee kutoka bonde la Ufa. Nothingness. Kutoka kwa bure to opening a new family record. Kwa kufungua rekodi You are next yako wewe ni mtu unaofuata you are next wewe ndio unafuata you are next wewe ndio unafuatia 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 you are next hey! hallelujah hallelujah i love you jesus nakupenda yesu There is a man I want I'm looking for here. He's here. He's called is he, in Amos chapter 7 verse 14. Amos 7:14. 14 yes. Chapter 7 verse 14. Kitabu cha Amos Then Amos answered and said to Amaziah Amos akajibu akamwambia Amaziah I was not a prophet Mimi huyu sikuwa nabii No was I a son of a prophet Wala mimi sikuwa mwana wa nabii But I was a sheep breed and a tend of sycamore fruit Bali nalikuwa mchungaji na mtunza mikuyu What Amos is saying Amos anasema hivi I'm not a son of a prophet. Mimi si mwana wa nabii. I'm not a prophet. Wala mimi mwenyewe si nabii. No, I was not a prophet. Si kukuwa nabii. We have no prophets. Kwetu damu ya manabii in our bloodline. Katika damu yetu. But now I'm a prophet. Lakini sasa mimi ni nabii. Becoming kufanyika something that has never happened. Kitu ambacho hakijawahi kufanyika. Oh no. God is about to glorify himself by lifting you. Mungu atajitukuza kwa kukuinua wewe. God doesn't receive glory in your poverty. Mungu apokee utukufu katika umaskini wako. God doesn't receive glory when you are living from hand to mouth. Mungu apokee utukufu unapokula toka mkono mdomoni. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not going to build on your bloodline foundation atakwenda kujenga kwenye misingi ya ukoo wetu because we don't need it maana hatuhitaji misingi hiyo one time the lord spoke to me wakati mwingine bwana akasema nani to be different from my people niwe tofauti na watu wa kwetu and he told me because akaniambia ni kwa sababu i don't want you to build on their foundation sitaki ujenge katika misingi ya ukoo wako you want to hear what he told me again Unataka kujua bwana aliniambia nini? He told me you can renovate the house. Akasema kwamba unaweza kuikarabati nyumba. But you cannot renovate the foundation. Lakini msingi uwezi ukaukarabati. If the foundation is wrong, yani kwamba misingi ikiwa ina kasoro. That is final. Kwisha. The best thing you can do, kitu pekee unaweza fanya is to open ni kufungua a new family record record mpya ya kifamilia leave the other foundation wachana na hiyo misingi be like abraham wa kama ibrahim we don't read atusomi god of abraham tela and mm -mm. mungu wa ibrahim na tera akunanga god told abraham mungu alimwambia ibrahim as long as you are here in your father's house you are finished 
Adamu ungali kwa nyumba ya baba yako wewe kwisha. Can you imagine a man is 75? Afikiria mtu ana umri wa miaka 75. He was still living in his father's house. Jamaa anaishi kwa nyumba ya baba yake. He took heaven's intervention. <laughs> Ilichukua mbingu ingilie kati. God himself to come and say Mungu ama wewe. Come, come out of your father's house. Wewe toka kwa nyumba ya baba yako. <laughs> You are 75. Wewe una miaka 75 hujui. You are still living in your father's Bado house. Bado unaishi kwa nyumba ya dadi. Just imagine. Wewe fikiria hiyo kitu. I know you go to heaven I'll meet papa Abraham. Nikienda mbinguni tutaongea hiyo story na Abraham. You marry you are in your father's house. Uliolewa kwa jikoni ya baba yako. God said leave here. Mungu akasema. And the Bible says. Biblia inasema. Tela. Tela. Neighbors and relatives. Majirani. Na God has spoken to Abraham. Mungu amesema na Ibrahim. But it is Tera that leads. Lakini Tera ndiye anaongoza. You will find it in Genesis 11. Soma hiyo ni katika mwanzo 11. Tera you are not part of this deal. Hii kitu e Tera. Uliambiwa na Mungu wewe. God spoke to Abraham. Mungu alinena na Ibrahim. Tera said couch a dictate. Tera akasema utamaduni wetu unaamrisha baba that the father leads baba aongoze they arrived in a place called haran wakafika mahali panaitwa harani eh uh-huh. when you look at haran haran is at the border between where they are coming from and canaan ukiangalia harani iko katikati ya mpaka kwenye wanatoka na canaan we were discussing this in bible school Tulikuwa tunaangalia swala hili kwenye bibi shule. Then they brought us a, a, a history book by D.L. Moody. Wakatuletea kitabu cha historia ya D.L. Moody. And Moody discussed it so well. Moody akaijadili vema. He said, alisema, this place Haran. Hapa mahali kunaitwa Harani. Tela and Abraham Tela, and Lot Tela, and Sarah. Na Abraham na Lot na Sarah. They lived there for five years. Waliishi hapa miaka mitano. Can you imagine? Kilia hilo jambo. There is a person you can walk with. Eh, kuna mtu unaweza tembea naye. And is a bad conduct of the grace of God. Na huyo mtu ni kizuizi cha neema ya Mungu. The name Tela in Hebrew it means delay. Neno hilo Tela inamaanisha kucheleweshwa. You think you are walking with a human being. Aya Unafikiri unatembea na binadamu? Kumbe, kumbe. Ha, my Swahili. My Swahili is deeper. Aha. You are walking with delay. Kumbe unatembea na cheleweshwa. And the Bible says and Tera died. Biblia inasema Tera kafa. When he died, alipokufa. Somebody said delay is dying today. Ya 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 ya. To say my chelewa, your shout in a kufa dying today. Chelewa shwe in a kufa leo. Now shout no more delay. Hakuna chelewa tena. Can I hear you shouting it again? Sema tena kwa sauti. Shout it again. Sema kwa sauti. Shout it again. He sema kwa sauti. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Delay must die. Chelewa shwe. Delay must die. Lazima ikufe. I command a quick work to happen in your life. Natangaza tendo la haraka. I command the answers to your prayers to be resurrected at the sound of my voice now. Natangaza majibu ya maombi. No more delay, no more delay. Hakuna chelewa. No more delay. Hakuna chelewa chelewa. No more delay. Hakuna chelewa chelewa. No more delay. Hakuna kawia kawia. No more delay. Hakuna chelewa. No more delayed marriages. No more delayed anointing. No more delayed ministry breakthrough. No more delay. Shopenyo uduma hapa na chelewa Hey Delay chelewa must die lazima ife akara boss shout my tela must die posada tera wangu lazima kufe No more delay. 
Hakuna chelewa tena. No more delay. Hakuna chelewa chelewa. Break a record, break a record. Vunja record. Vunja record well. What your people got after working for 50 years. Kile watu wako walipata. You will get it in one month. Uipate ndani ya mwezi mmoja. No more delay. Hakuna chelewa chelewa. No more delay. Hakuna chelewa chelewa. No more delay. Ayabo sanda ya tabosi. No more delay. Hakuna chelewa. No more delay. Hakuna chelewa chelewa. Hallelujah. 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 I prophesy to your children. Na watapiria watoto wako. I found that in my berry. Natangaza. You will not bury your children. Hamtawazika watoto wenu. You will not bury your children. Hautazika watoto wako. Ya bandere wa shakeba. You will not bury your children. You will not bury your children. Wako. You will not bury your children. Hautazika watoto wako. You will not bury your children. Hautazika watoto wako. You will not bury your children. Hautazika watoto wako. Hallelujah. I had the spirit of God tell me. Tell them they will not bury their children. That which wanted to kill your children. It will die in their place. 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 It will die in Hallelujah. May your children This was not even part of my message But I hear the Lord said to me Prophesy to their children Why? The Bible says Wisdom is justified by her children What tells us that a man is wise We don't look at him we look at his children. You will not bury your children. You will not bury your children. You will not bury your children. You children. Ah. children. May your children rise above you a thousand times in the name of Jesus clap your hands everywhere your children will never my God when Eli wakati Eli sinned against God alipomtenda Mungu dhambi God cast his bloodline Mungu akalani kizazi chake and he told them they will be beggars akasema watakuwa maskini omba omba I prophesy to you with my two eyes open your children will not be beggars. 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 They will never be. 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 Ah. Ah. May your children become wealthy when they are still young. I release, I feel it now. 
I release a special favor on your children. May God favor your children. Mungu May God favor your children. Mungu May God favor them in Africa. Let him favor them in North America. Let them be favored in South America. Let them be favored in Asia. Let God arise. And let his enemies scatter. I do what Glory to Kufu. May JCC JCC become a ministry that doesn't bury young children. If I need to do my in the name of Jesus, children will not die in this church. What we cancel that in Jesus' name. No miscarriages. No miscarriages. No death for young people. May this be the first ministry in Africa that buries people when they want to die. When they are ready to die. When they are very old. When they want to be with the Lord. We cancel coffins. We cancel caskets. We cancel deaths. The bullet will not kill you. I said the bullet will not kill you. Lisasi haitawa. Poison will not kill you. Sumu haitakuwa. Terrorists will not kill you. Makaiti haitawa. Oh. Listen. Excuse me. You will never sit in a car. How to get it when you got of those who are going to die. Kwawele wali otekwa. When you attack a people, you will never sit in a car. Out of people who are going to die, you will never sit in a plane. Of people who are going to die, you will never sit in a train. Of people who are going to die, you will never use a road. Of people who are going to die. Arise and shine For your light has come The glory of the Lord is risen on you Hallelujah Jesus is wonderful Jesus is wonderful May your enemies forget your name May your enemies forget your name. May your enemies forget your name. May your enemies forget your name. I command them to lose the phone that had your number. Now I'm rich or potese. Nambari wali yo ya kwako. Let them lose the phone that had your number. Peace. This is a new day. This is a new day. We are opening family records. The offering you will give today. Hear me you people playing drums. The offering you give today will be the least you will ever give. Will be the smallest you will ever give. I see your money growing. I see your money growing. Short money. Pesa. Come. Joe. To me. Kwangu. Now, Sasa, say money, Pesa, money, Pesa, come, Joe, to me, Kwangu, now, Sasa.
Your money must grow. Pesa yako lazima ikue. The only preacher I show in Kenya during COVID, you know Kenya is my land. Kenya, Kenya. I breathe, I breathe Kenya. I married in Kenya. My my children are half Kenyans. What are you talking about? Ah, nime ubiri Kenya, nime owa Kenya. Watoto wangu ni nusu Kenya, nusu Uganda. Kwa nini unasema nini? The only preacher I saw preaching, I mean, real faith during that time of COVID was Papa Lai. I used to watch him. Wakati wa COVID. Muhubiri wa pekee alihubiri imani ni daktari Papalai. You were my preacher during that time. Wewe ndio ulikuwa muhubiri wangu wakati huo. Others preachers oh. <laughs> I saw preachers resigning. Niliona wahubiri wanaacha kazi. Covid proved to us who is called and who called himself. Covid ilituonyesha waliojiita na walioitwa I went home. Nikaenda nyumbani. I knelt down. Nikapiga magoti. I said, "Lord, what am I going to do now?" Nikasema, "Bwana, nifanye nini?" I needed an instruction. Nahitaji The Lord told me, "Nothing about you is going to change." Bwana akaniambia, "Mna kitu kitabadilika na hii." You will not even feel the impact of COVID. Hamjaona bado madhara yake. I said, "Wow." Nikasema, "Kwani?" So what am I supposed to do? He said, "Now look." Akaniambia, "Fanya." He told me, "We are going to behave like the weed of Zerephath." Ka, kama yule mjane wa Serepta that just ya kwamba what you have ulicho nacho start sharing it with others gawia wengine my god mungu wangu listen to me sikiza those of you who think preachers get money because of preaching you are lying to yourself ninyi mnaodhani wahubiri tupata pesa kwa kuhubiri we get money by practicing the principles of god Tunapata pesa kwa kufanyia kazi kanuni za Mungu. How many preachers as uh, there are so many preachers who are as broke as a mosque mouse. Ah, kuna wahubiri ambao hawana kitu kama panya wa msikitini. wanahubiri they are worried about, <laughs> about tomorrow wanaangaikia kesho papa what god told me changed me papa kile mungu aliniendekea you know, we, we had a, a total lockdown in uganda total. uganda tulikuwa tumefungiwa kabisa no movement hakuna kutembea you are supposed to walk if you are walking you walk with a mask Ukitembea tembea. If you are going to the bank, you walk to the bank. Tembea kwa benki, wenda kwa benki. So I used to wake up in the morning. Namkia asubuhi. I just tell God. Naambia Mungu. Father today. Baba leo, guide me to someone who needs my help. Niongoze kwa mtu anayehitaji msaada wangu. My fellow preachers others were busy looking for help from government. Hey, wenzangu wahubiri wanatafuta misaada ya serikali. I told Rachel Nikaambia Recho if i ever see a bag of ugali from government here nikipata kaunga kutoka serikali hapa you will know that i was not created i was made utatambua sikuumba nilitengenezwa <laughs> we can only i don't need help from government mimi sihitaji msaada wa serikali i don't need it ah sihitaji Listen. Skiza. I woke up every day looking for people to help. Niliamkia asubuhi kusaidia watu. There is this particular day. Na kuna hii siku fulani that I woke up sir. Niliamka asubuhi bana. And I walked on a street that I usually walk when I want to do walking. Nikatembelea barabara na ya mazoea na kufanya. So I'm very mazoe. familiar with the road. Naielewa barabara hii vizuri. It's near our home. Ni karibu kwetu nyumbani. Do you know what happened? Wajua ni nini kilichotokea? I was alone. Nalikuwa peke yangu. And ahead of me I saw a very old woman. Mbele yangu nikaona bibi kizee. Walking like this. Anatembea hivi. Barefooted. Ana kitu kwa mguu. That woman may I meet her again. God has refused to bring her to me again. I don't know whether I saw an angel. I don't know. 
Huyo bibikizee na tamani ni mkute tena lakini We are the two of us on the road. Sisi tulikuwa wawili barabarani. And I said, "Ma'am, how are you?" Kambia mama, she was arrogant. Eh, eh, eh. Kiburi na majivuno. She said, "Kaniambia, I'm fine." Mimi nika mzima, but not fine. Lakini siko sio mzima vile. I said, "Does she even know she's talking to Apostle Mayanja?" Kwani unajui kwamba naongea na nani ni mtume Mayanja? And I said, "Ma'am, kambia mama hii. Ah. Why are you not fine? Bona wewe si mzima. She said, "Don't you see?" Yaani uoni wewe una macho. Say, "Hey. Ah, hapa na hapa. What kind of human being is this?" Wewe ni binadamu na namna gani? I said, "Anyway, ma'am, this is what I wanted to say." Mama nilikuwa nataka kusema hivi. I have this small money and it was much money. Niko na hii pesa kidogo lakini kwa small amount of money Niko na hii pesa kidogo I wanted to give it to you Nilikuwa nataka nikupe The Lord told me that is the woman you should give your money Bwana kaniambia huyu ndio utakaye umpe pesa Now sasa We are the two on the street Tuko wawili barabara Kampala was like a ghost town Yaani ilikuwa ni mti umeachwa kweli She looked at me Akaniangalia She didn't say thank you Aya hakusema asante She said I'm happy Sema na fry And she said and because I'm happy because sababu nimefry she lifted her finger to heaven akainua kidola mbingu and she said he is also happy aya huyu aliye juu ana furaha i started shaking nikaanza kutetemeka nimekutana na nini she spoke with authority alinena na mamlaka she said i'm happy akasema nimefry because i'm happy kwa sababu ninafry He is also happy. Aliye juu amefurahi. She, she walked away. Nakatembea kaenda zake. With the money. Na pesa yangu. I went home. Nilienda nyumbani. I saw a missed call. Nikapata nimekosa simu. That missed call. Hiyo simu. I'm fi, I'm still feeding up on it up to today. Naendelea kukula kutoka kwa hiyo simu. That missed call. Hiyo simu nilikuwa nimeikosa. It deals with me in United States dollars inakabiliana na mimi katika madola za Amerikani and not hundreds but thousands maelfu ya madola i met a person who said na nikutana na mtu aliyosema i'm happy nimefry and because i'm happy is sababu na fry is also happy aliye juu amefry what am i saying Nasema nini? That offering I gave. Sadaka ile niliyoitoa silenced every demon. Ilinyamazisha kila pepo of luck in my house until tomorrow. Ya ukosefu wa nyumba yangu mpaka kesho. So I'm saying, nasema what we are giving today tunachotoa leo will be the least dio cha chini zaidi you will ever give utawahi kutoa hallelujah 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 the bible says god confirms the counsel of his messengers Biblia inasema kwamba Bwana anafikilisha mashauri ya wajumbe wake. Every word you have heard today. Kila neno lolisikia hili No demon will cancel it off your life. Amna pepo atalifuta kwa maisha. Every word you have heard today. Kila neno lolisikia leo. No principality in heaven on the earth and under the earth. Na makuzaya. Hakuna ufalme juu. Well, cancel it of your life. Italifuta kwa maisha yako. From this conference you, be, you are going to become a wonder to your family. Kutoka kongamano hii utakwenda kufanyika star job. You are going to be a marvel to the believers who never attended this meeting. Utafanyika mshangao kwa waamini ambao hawakuhudhuria ibada hii. Well, they will ask you what is your secret? Watakuuliza siri yako ni nini? You will answer them that while you were away. Utasema wakati nilipokuwa sipo huku. I went to what explosion Mombasa. Nilienda mlipuko wa neno Mombasa. And my life is different.
different. Maisha yangu ni tofauti. I release my grace on you now. Na shilie neema yangu juu yako. Jesus. Ay 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 ay. Jesus. Kala bada bada. Kala baba baba baba. Oh. Bada kaso bada kash. Jesus. Yes. Shadada kabaka dada basi kabaka. Bada kash. Oh. Jesus. Hey, yes. Yes. I release my grace on you now. Na shilia neema yangu. Jien. Akati bana tabasi. God gave me favor. Bwana alinikirimia kibali. He gave me speed. Akanipa mwendo kasi. He has given me a lot. Bwana amenikirimia vitu vingi. I'm sharing my grace with you now. Na washirikisha na kuagawia neema yangu sasa. The Bible says when you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet. Biblia inasema ukimpokea nabii kwa jina la nabii. You receive the reward of that prophet. Unapokea thawabu ya nabii. May the God who encountered with me Mungu aliyakutana nami encounter with you now akutane na wewe sasa receive it now pokea receive it now pokea receive it now pokea receive it now pokea sasa receive it now pokea sasa receive it now Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Maraba karebo shande Receive it now. Receive the grace I carry. Receive the favor and the speed. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Pukea. Abakoshanda da babas. Arabakosindere bakahan. Jesus. Zara da da handere babahashira handeha. Jesus. Hada da 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 bahada. Jesus. Arabakasa. Nana masika da da baba. Arambasa da da baba. Jesus. Shanda la bakasi da da. Jesus. 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 Oh, yes. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh Jesus. Yes. Yes. The Lord is in this house. The Lord is moving in this house. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Receive the favor. Receive the honor. I command open doors. 
Gate should never close for you. Milango ita fungwa kwa kwa. Gate should never close for you. Malango ita fungwa kwa kwa. Gate should never close for you. Malango ita fungwa kwa kwa. Lift up your hands. Kila mtu nyosha mikono yako. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. Bwana kubariki na kulinde. May the Lord make his face to shine on you. Bwana sababisha uso wake kukungangazia. May the Lord be gracious to you. Bwana awe mwenye kukunemesha. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Bwana kuinulia uso wake. May the Lord give you peace. Akupe amani. Peace in your families. Peace in your amani nyumbani. Peace in your offices. Amani afisini. Peace when you are coming out. Amani unapoingia. Peace when you are coming in. Amani ukitoka na kuingia. Peace when you are in the country. Amani ukiwa mashambani. Peace when you are in the city. Amani ukiwa mjini. Peace in Kenya. Amani Kenya. Peace beyond the borders of this Amani country. Amani Kenya. Peace in your ministries. Amani ya huduma zenu. Receive peace. Pokeni amani. Clap your hands all your people. Piga makofi ninyi watu wote. Shout to God with a voice of triumph. Pigeni bwana sauti ya shambo. Shout to God with a voice of triumph. Pigeni bwana sauti ya shambo. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sit down we talk. Kachini tuongee. You have opened a new family record. Record Your clapping is mocking God. You will see it. That life changed. Ya kwamba maisha ilibadilika before Christmas kabla ya Christmas you will see it utaiona before Christmas kabla ya Christmas you will remember what explosion utakumbuka mlipuko wa neno that life changed ya kwamba maisha ilibadilika permanently fundamentally ya kudumu kimsingi I want us to Ataka sisi sasa honor God tupate kumheshimu Mungu with our giving na matoleo yetu I want us to honor God Ataka kwamba tumheshimu Mungu with our giving na matoleo yetu I love praying for tithers wanapenda kuombea watu wa fungu la 10 because of their level of obedience to God kwa sababu ya viwango vyao vya kumtii Mungu. Ataitha will stand. Kila mwenye kutoa fungu la 10 atasimama. And I decree a blessing on your life. Na nitatangaza baraka juu yako. Just stand, don't come, stand if you're tired. Simama tu si kwamba utakuja mbele, mali ulipo pale utasimama tu. Just stand. Utasimama mali uliko. You carried your tithe. I believe in tithe. Mimi naamini katika kutoa fungu la 10. Listening to Papa Lai the other day. Nikaa namsikiza Papa Lai siku ile ile. His doctrine agrees with my doctrine 100%. Mafundisho yake ya kukubaliana ya kwangu 100%. Remain standing if you have tithe please. Ukiwa na fungu la 10 salia umesimama. Some people wapa watu wengine Listen to me pastor who are here. Sikizeni wachungaji mlioko hapa. You can never take people where you have never been. Wezi wapeleka watu mahali penye wewe mwenyewe hujafika. 
And the only message that carries authority. Na ujumbe pekeo na obeba mamlaka. When you preach it. Wakati unayubiri. Is the message you practice. Ni ujumbe unawufanyia kazi mwenyewe. You have no authority. Hauna idhini wala mamlaka. On a message you don't practice. Kwa ujumbe amba wewe hautendei kazi. We have so many preachers. Wapo wa ubiri wengi mno. Who preach tithe. Wana ubiri ya bari ya kutoa fungu lakumi. They don't give it. Wao wenyewe hawatoa fungu lakumi. They are self-appointed Melchizedeks. Wame jiteuwa wenyewe kuwa Melchizedeki. I have learned this. Ni mejifunza jambo hili. The moment I get money like this. Mara ni napopata pesa zangu hivi. The first thing that comes to my mind. Kitu cha kwanza kinaingia kilini mwangu. Is tithe. Ni kutoa fungu la kumi. In my family. Na katika familia yangu If you are not a tither Iwapa wensi mtoa fungu la kumi And you are a Christian Na we ni mkristo We don't welcome you Uwa hatu kukaribish We don't welcome robbers Wanyanganyi atu waingizi kwa nyumba yetu Everyone in my family must be a tither kila mtu katika familia yangu lazima awe mtoa fungu la kumi. Even if you are the house manager you have to tithe. Hata kama we ni yaya wa nyumbani toa fungu la kumi mradi kwa katika pala. Father see the tithers today. Baba wanatoa fungu leo. They honor you because you said so. Wanakuheshimu maana ulisema hivyo. In the name of Jesus. Baba wetu kwa jina la Yesu. Open the windows of heaven. Tufungulie madilisha ya mbinguni. And prove to these people. Wabibitishie watu wako hawa. That your word works. Kwa mba neno lako hufanya kazi. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba. Amen. Amen. I think today we will give seated papa. How is it we will give seated? Yeah. We are going to give our offerings when we are seated. Twatoa tukiwa tumeketi mali tulipo. Nine is, is suppose I'm here. So, so. So, let me pray for your offerings everywhere. Ah, kila moja ni yombe sadaka yako nuwa mali ulipo. I want everybody to give. Nataka kwamba kila mtu atowe. Lift your hands to God. Mwinu yabana mkono wako. Because we are saying this is the least Tunasema indio kidom sana. We are prophesying and decreeing. Tunatabiri na kutoa nabi. That what we have given today. Kwa mba tulichotoa leo. Is the smallest we will ever give. Dio ndogo tutawaitoa. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. The son of the living God. Mwana wa mungu alie hai. I stand on this exalted altar. Na simama katika jukwa ilo inuliwa juu zaidi To decree as a priest of the living God Kutamuka kama na pi wa mungu alia hai That may heaven open Bingo zika fungu And touch your offering Ziguze sadaka yako After your giving today Baada utawaji wako waleo The evil you have seen Maovu liyo yaona You will see it no more Hauta yona tena after your giving today, let there be peace in your residence. After your giving today, may bloody diseases die. May your offering represent you before God. Let it put on the body you desire. Because the Bible says seeds put on different bodies. May your seed put on the body you desire. And may God meet your expectation. Let him meet your desire. As your seed 
kama mbegu yako supersedes your need inaposhinda shida yako and it brings back to your supernatural harvest na inakuletea mavuno ya kiungu we be blessed in jesus name barikiweni kwa yesu kristo start your giving as i bring to the altar the man of god anza kutoa na pamkaribisha mtumishi wa mungu Clap your hands as a servant of God comes. Tumpige bwana Yesu makofi mtumishi wa Mungu anapoingia kwenye masabau. Let us appreciate. Nataka tumpige bwana makofi kwa ajili ya mtumishi wake. Aposo Mayanja. Mtume Mayanja. As you give. Wakati ambapo unatoa sadaka zako. I want you to believe every word that you have heard. Nataka uamini kila neno ulolisikia. Change has come. Mabadiliko yako imekuja. New family records rekodi ya mpya ya kifamilia imeandikishwa zadabaki haraka santo yako zadabaka rabo kushila raba your story will be told by others story yako itasimuliwa ni watu wengine this offering you are giving is the smallest offering i heard that i i catch words of the servants of god it is the smallest you better believe it because god is going to begin to provide for you supernaturally is sadaka unaoitoa ndio ndogo zaidi nalisikia sauti hii na niko makinifu kushika neno la mtumishi wa mungu Mungu ataanza kukutoshelezea kwa jinsi ya kiungu. We have a we have a tradition in this house that we bring our tithes to the altar. Tuna utamaduni katika nyumba hii yetu tunaleta zaka zetu kwa madhabahu. We give our offerings in the offering baskets. Na sadaka tuzitoa kwenye mfuko ya sadaka. So if you brought your tithe you come and lay it on the altar connect to the grace kama ulikuja outer with your with your tithe kama ulikuja na fungu la vows ama nadhiri zako leta kwa madhabahu kujiunganisha na neema hii and i want to say this nataka niseme hili those of you who are jcc members of this center wale ambao ni wa JCC katika kituo hiki cha Bamburi make sure that you do not go for holiday without with an unfulfilled vow hakikisha usiende kwenye pumziko mapumziko haya ya Krismasi kama hujatimiza nadhiri zako God is going to provide the seed so that you fulfill your vow. Mungu atakutoshelezea mbegu ili utimize nadhiri yako. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tusema hallelujah. Um and because this is our uh, Sunday service I believe we have got news uh, notices for this house so we'll ask uh, the media to 
bring the notices to us. Na sababu hii ni ibada yetu ya Jumapili tunayo matangazo nitauliza wanahabari mtuletee matangazo yetu. So if we have any news uh, uh, media just iwapo tuko na habari zozote wana habari naomba mtuletee hizo habari Hallelujah Hallelujah We will bring the notices for this week kwa hivyo tunataka kuwatangazia matangazo ya juma hili. We welcome all the visitors. Tunawakaribisha wageni wetu wote. If it is your very first time to be in this house. Wapo ni mara yako ya kwanza kuwa katika nyumba hii. Please don't be in a hurry to leave. Usiwe na haraka ya kuondoka. There is a gift from our papa. Uh, kuna zawadi kutoka kwa baba yetu. Please come in the front here and you will be able to receive it basi utakuja hapa mbele ili uweze kuipokea and the lord god will bless you bwana mungu atakubariki we are coming back tonight in the afternoon at 4:30 twaje jioni ya leo saa 10:30 for the commissioning service kwa ajili ya ibada ya kutumwa this is the final service for our word explosion ni ibada yetu ya mwisho kwa mlipokuwa so neno so every one of us kila mmoja wetu will be in the service tonight atakuwa kwa ibada jioni ya leo at 4:30 saa 10:30 and the lord god will bless you mungu amani We we'll be having a camp for the teens. Tutakuwa na washa kwa ajili ya vijana wetu. Boot camp. Ah vijana wetu atakuwa na washa yao. From Tuesday kuanzia Jumanne. No Wednesday 12. Jumatano uh, tariki 12. To 16th of December. Hadi 16 December. Here in Bamburi. Hapa Bamburi. The charges are 2500. Malipo ni 2500. The payment is through the normal pay bill 99170. Kupitia pay bill yetu tunaifahamu. And then we will the account is Teens Camp. Ah uh, ile account ni Teens. Please for more contact uh, for more information contact 0722 kwa ushauri zaidi tumia 0772 uh, 975099 Haleluya 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 Then we have our Women on Fire Conference 2024 Tuna kongamano la wanawake wote The annual Women on Fire Conference will be from the 7th to the 9th of August 2024 kongamano la wanawake wote walio ambao ni la wanawake na moto JCC itakuwa hapa JCC please make sure you get a flyer hakikisho pata the flyer is for you to go and invite somebody iko hapo ili ukaweza kumwalika it's not for you to keep It's go and invite somebody. Nenda ukamkaribisha. And the Lord God will bless you. Mungu atakubariki. We will also have our washa camp 2024. Tutakuwa na washa camp mwaka huu. Which will be in the month of April. Mwezi wa 4. From the 16th to the 19th of April. 16 hadi 19 mwezi wa 4. There is also a brochure here. Kuna hiyo karatasi hapo. Please go and invite somebody. Nenda kakaribishie mtu. And the Lord God will bless you. Mungu amani atakubariki. Our order of services are as usual. Aibada zetu ni kama kawaida. Tomorrow Monday is our HBC. Kesho Jumatatu ni HBC. And the Lord God will bless you Amu. Tuesday. Jumanne is our HBC outreach tomorrow. Ni kufikia nafsi siku ya Jumanne. Tuesday is a HBC gathering. Manne ni kanisa la nyumbani kusanyika. Wednesday we will come back here for focus service. Jumatano tarudi hapa kwa ajili ya kuchunguza familia. Thursday is our family day. Alhamisi siku ya jamii. And Friday is our overnight meeting Kesha 
from 10 to 4 a.m. Kesha zetu ni kuanzia sana hadi saa 10 asubuhi. And then we will have the choir practice at 8:30 p.m. Bwana kujifunza kwaya pale kuanzia saa We continue with our lunch hour programs. Tutaendelea na mafundisho yetu ya mchana. In all our centers and our branches. Katika center zetu zote. From 12:30 to 1:45. Taunusu hadi 7 kasoro. Our Saturday group meetings. Mikutano yetu ya kila Jumamosi. Are as follows. Ni the day of the month is the children and the youth. The second Saturday of the month is women and men. And the third Saturday of the month is our joint HBC training at Buxton. The fourth Saturday of the month there are events that are organized at the centers and the branches. And the Lord God will bless you. Mungu amani atawabariki. We will be having our joint choir practice every last Saturday of the month kila Jumamosi ya mwisho wa mwezi for our family miracle service. Kwa ibada zetu za miujiza to prepare for our family miracle service. Kwa ajili ya ibada zetu za kijamii. And the Lord God will bless you. Mungu wetu atatubariki. As you leave this afternoon Please remember the Dokas the Dokas ministry. The bags will be at the entrances, at the exits. Sorry and the Lord God will bless you. There is an announcement here for all those people that will be traveling with SGR. There will be transport from the church to the SGR station tomorrow morning. For all the people traveling by SGR please be at the report at the entrance of the church there at 4:30 in the morning kuwa pale kwenye lango la kuingilia saa 10:30 za asubuhi the bus fare is 300 shillings malipo ni shilingi 300 the bus has only 100 seats available basi lina viti 100 pekee kindly visit the registration desk for your booking fika katika meza ya usajili kwa ajili ya kweka you can pay through our pay bill 9910.70 tumia pay bill hiyo Account is ESGR. Account ni ESGR. And the Lord God will bless you. Mungu wa amani atawabariki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Bwana. If you will put your hands together, weka mikono yako pamoja. We will receive our papa back. Tutampokea baba yetu. You're welcome. Jesus is Lord. I say Jesus is Lord. took our place our place of sin so that we may be become children of god it took our place of sickness so that we may be healed I ask that you will work miracles now. I ask Lord that every sick person will be healed. I ask Lord everyone under the anointing of my voice who is living in sin will find their way uh, to the place of salvation. We worship you. 
You may be here this afternoon. Unaweza kuwa hapa dhuhuri ya leo. Never given your heart to Jesus. Ujapeana maisha yako kwa Yesu. He loves you. Anakupenda. He wants to give you eternal life. Anataka kukupa uzima wa milele. He wants to forgive you of everything that you have ever done. Anataka kusamehe yote uliyoyafanya. So I want to pray for you. Nataka nikombe. If you need that the mercy of god the forgiveness you need to be saved shoot up that end wherever you are i above your head and i am going to pray with you the greatest miracle mujiza mkuu will happen to you right now utakutendekea dakika hii it is the miracle of salvation mujiza wa wokovu i see somebody with their hand on that side god bless you naona mtu maeneo yale mungu akubariki when you raise it keep it up above your head ukiinua weke juu ya kichwa chako yes keep it above your head weke juu kupita kichwa chako somebody with their hand here naona mtu ameona mkono wake hapa mungu akubariki keep that hand up it's You are showing God. See somebody else on that side. God bless you. Keep the hand up when you raise it. I see some, some hands back there. Naona mikono pale nyuma. Is my final call. Ni mwito wangu wa mwisho. If your hand is down. Kama mkono wako uko chini. And you know if something happened to you right now. Na wajua jambo likitendeka dakika hii. And you die. Na ufe. You are not 100% sure. Hauko asilimia kwa 100% na uhakika. That you would be in heaven with with Jesus. Ya kwamba utakuwa mbinguni na Yesu. Join with those that are raising up their hands. Don't gamble with your life. Ungamana na wale wanainua mikono yako usifanye kuchezea mzaa maisha yako. If you are raising up your hand I see hands. Iwapo unainua mkono naona mikono Mungu awabariki Mungu awabariki. If you are raising up your hand please stand up right there where you are. Iwapo mkono wako uko juu tafadhali simama mahali ulipo. Stand up on your feet. Inuka kwa miguu yako. You are raising up your hand. Unainua mkono wako. You want Jesus. Make your way from wherever you are. Unamhitaji Yesu pata njia yako popote pale ulipo. And come right here. Na uje hapa mbele. Jesus is going to meet you at the point of your need. Yesu atakutana nawe katika eneo la uhitaji wako. Let them stand behind. Let them st- let them stand behind there. Simame hapo nyuma. Yeah, let them stand behind there. Give them a big hand clap as they come. Wape makofi wanapokuja. They are coming from everywhere. Wanakuja tokea kila eneo. They are coming to Jesus. Wanakuja kwa Yesu. This is the greatest thing. Ni kitu kikuu. This is the greatest miracle. Ni mujiza mkuu. Jesus asked. Yesu kauliza What will it benefit a man? Itamfaidi nini mwanadamu? If he gains the whole world. Apatapo ulimwengu mzima. And lose his own soul. Na apotezi roho yake mwenyewe. What will it benefit Ata, a man? Atafaidi nini mwanadamu? What will it benefit a man? Itamfaidi nini mwanadamu? If he gains the whole world. Akiupata ulimwengu mzima. And lose his own soul. Na apoteze nafsi yake mwenyewe. This is an opportunity hii ni fursa for everyone kwa kila mmoja who is not born again hayajazaliwa mara ya pili to give their heart to Jesus kupeana maisha yake kwa Yesu Psalms 103 Zaburi 103 The Bible says Linasema He forgives us anatusamee of all our sins dhambi zetu zote and he heals us na anatuponya of all our diseases magonjwa yetu yote the same power nguvu ile ile the same power nguvu ile ile that cleanses people from sin inayo watakasa watu kutoka kwa dhambi it is the same power nguvu ile ile that heals people of diseases inayo ponya watu kutoka kwa magonjwa yao All of you who have come to give your hearts to the Lord. Nyote mliokuja kupeana mioyo yenu kwa Bwana. Lift up both of your hands. Inuenu mikono yenu yote miwili. And pray this prayer. Omba ombi hili. Pray it from your heart. Omba kutoka moyoni mwako. 
Sema e bwana Yesu. E bwana Yesu. Siku hii ya leo. Siku hii ya leo. Ni siku yangu. Siku yangu. Ya wokovu. Ya wokovu. Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Ninakukaribisha. Nakukaribisha. Ingia ndani ya moyo wangu. Ingia ndani ya moyo wangu. Nisamee dhambi zangu. Nisamee dhambi zangu. Na uniokoe. Na uniokoe. Kutoka leo. Kutoka leo. Nitakupenda. Nitakupenda. Nitakufuata. Nitakufuata. Nitakutumikia. Nitakutumikia. Siku zote za maisha yangu. Siku zote za maisha yangu. Sante kwa kunisamee. Sante kwa kunisamee. Asante kwa kuniokoa. Asante kwa kuniokoa. Nimeomba kwa imani. Nimeomba kwa imani. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Aliye Bwana na mwokozi wangu. Aliye Bwana na mwokozi wangu. Sema amen. Amen. Sema amen. Amen. The God of miracles has forgiven you. Mungu wa miujiza amewasamehe nyote. You you now are children of God. Sasa ninyi ni watoto wa Mungu. The old has passed away. Ya kale yamepita. Everything has become new. Kila kitu kimekuwa kipya. So love Jesus. Pende Yesu. And live for him. Aumwishie. Amen. Amina. And I am going to pray. Taenda kuomba. For those who are sick in their bodies. Wale walioni wagonjwa milini mwao. There is a family here. Kuna jamii hapa. The three boys. Vijana wa kiume watatu. Oh my God. Ni Mungu wangu. They have been attacked in their bodies. They have got pimples in their body. Wameshambuliwa katika mili yao wana vipele milini mwao. I declare from now. Tangaza kutokea sasa. This sickness that has come into this family ugonjwa uliyejilia jamii hii i commanded to die na umurisha ufe there will never be a trace hakutakuwa na kuonekana tena not even a sign hata ishara in this family in the born and the unborn katika hii jamii kwa waliozaliwa na wale bado hawajazaliwa I break this curse. Navunja lana hii. I break it. Naivunja. In Jesus mighty name. Jina kuu la Yesu. I declare you totally healed. Na watangaza mkiwa mmepona kabisa. In Jesus name. Jina la Yesu. Somebody somebody clap your hands. Ampigie bwana makofi. The devil is attacking people so much with a stroke. Uh, ibilisi anashambulia watu sana na ulemavu. I protect every one of you. Linda kila mmoja wenu. Let the anointing of God protect you from anything that can bring stroke in your life. Wacha upakwa Mungu kakulinde na kukuhifadhi kutokana na chochote ambacho kinaweza leta ulemavu katika jamii. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina kuu la Yesu Kristo. Stroke. Ulemavu. I curse you. Na kulani. I come against you. Naja kinyume chako. I command you. Na kuamrisha to lose your hold in the mighty name of Jesus I come against every sickness I come against high blood pressure if you are if you have been if you have been suffering from high blood pressure stand up
If you are diabetic, they, they called you diabetic stand up. You, you are going home completely, totally, absolutely free, 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 diabetes, high blood pressure. It is not your portion. I fight it like a devil. I, I, I say I fight it like a devil. High blood pressure. You have no power over the lives of the people that are standing before God right now. You have no power. You, I render you powerless. I render you powerless. I render you powerless. I render you powerless. In the mighty name of Jesus. High blood pressure. Diabetes. You are a devil. I render you powerless. You have no power. You have no power. You have no power. You have no power. Power. Every tormenting spirit right now, every sickness, every disease, every disease, you cancer a spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you. To lose your hold. Lose your hold. Be made whole now. Be made whole now. You can go to your doctor. Enda kwa daktari wako. The one who checked and they said you had a pressure. They will confirm. Na tathirisha. That they, they will confirm. What atathirisha. That the Lord has healed you. Ya kwa mba buwana mekuponya. You can go to them. Let them check your sugar. Nenda kwa wakangalia ki wango chaskari. I declare chaskari. your sugar is normal. Nasema ki wango chaskari kiko sawa. I say I declare your sawa. sugar is normal. Nasema ki wango chaskari kiko sawa. I say your sugar sawa. is normal. Ki wango chaskari kiko sawa. I say your sawa. sugar. Sukari ya. I, I, I don't know whether I have any believers here. We need to celebrate the miracles of God. I say your sugar is normal. I say your sugar is normal. Is normal. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is somebody Kunamtu. that has been living on medication. Kishi kwa madawa. This this lady. Who you? Binti. Doris Peter. Doris, I think that's her name. Nafikiri dunia lakin hilo Doris. She here. Je, yuko hapa? The miracle power. Go za mchiza. The power of God is present. Go za mungu zipo nasi. To heal the sick. I say present. I say present. That stroke. Look at me. I say you look at me. That stroke. Has no power. Over you. You Wewe. that have attacked her Uliam Shambulia Loose Achilia Loser Wachilia Loser Wachilia Loser Wachilia Loser now Wachilia Sasa Loser now Wachilia Sasa In the name of Jesus Katika Jina la Yesu Loser Wachilia 
you foul spirit you foul spirit you have no power over our lives you have no power to torment us anymore In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. I paralyze what came to paralyze you. Nalemaza kilichokuja kulemaza. I completely paralyze it. Na kilemaza kabisa. And I set you free. Na nakuweka huru. I set you free. Na kuweka huru. I set you free. Na kuweka huru. I set you free. Na kuweka huru. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Church stretch your hands here. Kanisa nyosha mikono yenu hapa. Do you believe in miracles? Unaamini miujiza? Do I have people here who want to see Ninao the power of God? Kona nguvu za Mungu? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hakuna kitu chochote. Not demon. Hakuna pepo yoyote. These children are free. Hawa watoto wako huru. Completely. Huru kabisa. Completely. Huru kabisa. Never again. And that thing can never come to your family again. Icho kitu akitakuja kwa jamii yenu tena. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Lift her up. Muinue. Give me your hand. Nipe mkono wako. You are free. Uko huru. Walk. Tembea. 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 Tembea. Walk. Tembea. In the name of Jesus, walk. Katika jina la Yesu tembea. You are totally free. Uko huru kabisa. See what the Lord is doing. Ona vile Bwana anatenda. You are totally free. Uko huru kabisa. I say you are totally Nasema free. Nasema uko huru kabisa. And you are going to run. Na utakimbia. Not just walk but run. Sikutembea tu bali kukimbia. Can I have some people here who have got faith Ni, begin to shout? Nipate watu walio na imani waanze kushangilia. The devil has no power. Shetani hana nguvu. This this woman could not walk. Do you see? Mwanamke huyo alikuwa hatembei, unaona? Even even the hand that could not could not be go up. Hata mkono huo haukuweza kuinuka juu. What is wrong with you? She, she's the one that was in hospital. So what, what? You went to hospital and picked her. So what is, what are, why has she been in hospital? Complications. Okay. Uh, they will never because this is demonic natural means cannot see spiritual things you are not sick from now you are 100% well lift your hands I want you to check every part of your body that was aching. Angalia kila sehemu ya mwili wako ilikuwa ina maumivu au inauma. Check. Angalia every part. Kila sehemu. Check it for me. Iangalie. Huh? Give me a microphone. Nipe kipaza sound. They They brought her from the hospital. Walimleta kutoka hospitalini. Where, where, where did you have problems? Shida zaidi zilikuwa wapi? Tumbo. Tumbo. Mwili wote kuuma. Mwili wote kuuma. Kifua. Kifua. Kichwa na baridi mingi sana. Ah? Na baridi. Na baridi. Mm. 
And now Sasa Hakuna kitu unasikia It's gone You You are free Uko huru Totally Huru kabisa See what the Lord has done What we waited for Has come to pass See what the Lord has done Go enjoy your life Enda ukafraye maisha See what the Lord has done All these people go with the go with the counselors go with them they gonna they gonna talk to you tell you what you need to do Watu wote hawa endeni na washauri wataeleza kile cha kufanya Go with them Nenda na wao Thank you master Asante bwana Clap your hands and give God praise. This woman will be in, in seven days she will be running. Mwanamke huyu ndani ya siku saba atakuwa anakimbia. She could not walk walk and now watch. Alikuwa hatembei na sasa anatembea. Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Maana Yesu ni yule yule jana leo na hata milele. Tonight is going to be a very very special night. Siku leo utakuwa ni usiku maalum mno. I'm going to release something here. Nitaachilia kitu hapa. That is going to leave a mark in your life ambacho kitaacha alama maishani mwako that message ujumbe huo there could be no better message before the evening service kwa hakuna ujumbe mwingine bora kabla ya ibada hii ya jioni ya leo because kwa sababu you will do what no one else has ever done in your family. Maana utafanya jambo ambalo hakuna mwingine katika jamii yenu amelifanya. It is going to be the final service. Na kwa ni baada ya mwisho. In World Explosion 2023. Tikamlipo kwa neno 2023. Ah. And uh, Call somebody. Tell them not to miss the service. This conference is about destiny. Your destiny cannot be hindered by anything after what is going to happen tonight. Haiezi zuiliwa hatima yako na chochote kile baada ya kile kitakachotendeka usiku wa leo. Stand upon your feet. Simama kwa migo yako. Lift your hands to heaven. Inua mikono yako mbinguni. Lord Jesus. Bwana Yesu. We honor you and praise you. For salvation, for healing, for deliverance. For 
for your word for revelation that has come to us in such a clear way may this word bear fruit 30, 60, 100 fold and father I pray that you prepare the hearts of every one of us tonight that everyone will leave this place carrying something that they will ever be grateful about watafurahikia na kushukuru wakati wote as we take this break for lunch tunapochukua mapumziko haya kwa mankuli i cover everyone with the blood of jesus namfunika kila mmoja kwa damu ya yesu i pray none under the anointing of my voice right now will miss the evening final service naomba kwa wote walio chini ya upako wa sauti hii hakuna mtu atakosa ibada ya jioni ya leo i pray that even those that are gathering in our other centers they will find their way here quickly atakwa wale wanaokutana katika maeneo yetu mengine wataweza kufika hapa jioni ya leo and now may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit may we us now and forever more. Amen. 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 Jesus is Lord. Yes, Sonny Jesus is Lord. 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 This program is made possible courtesy of the Wilfred Lai Partners. For prayers, inquiry, and partnership, contact us on 0800-000-898 or send a text to 23378 and our team of counselors will help you. Thank you.